Well, it's the first thing in the morning, and I got up. I beat everybody up, and uh, shelling keys is my favorite time of the day. It's what you might call my quiet time. And I feel like I'm making this movie. You know, we shot over 200 hours of footage. There were so many, so many different takes and so many different ways that we could have done it. And the one thing that I thought might work for the most amount of people is if we sort of show what our family life was like. And the fact that it does work for kids. So I feel like all of y'all have come into our house and that I have a personal connection with you. In showing this movie to some people and getting some feedback, one person said, oh, you know, this movie is really fascinating. You know, some of your relatives have lost so much weight. Uh, you need to go into more detail and, 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 and tell how they lost the weight and what their diet was and, you know, like whether they was under a doctor's care and, you know, and then somebody else said, well, you know, you really need to focus on you know, Gingy and her pregnancies, and I saw that just about everybody who saw the movie had a different take on it, and everybody was right, and that's the problem that we ran into was that there were so many different ways to do it until we really just didn't have enough time. I could do a two-hour movie just on the chemicals that they put into our food, the, the pesticides, the insecticides, and the herbicides, and the effect that they have on brain chemistry, and the additives like monosodium glutamate and red dye number two, and the effect that that has, the artificial sweeteners. But I, what I wanted to do was create a movie that celebrated human potential. That was the theme. And I wanted to 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 do something that was positive. You know, it's like when you look up and you see, you know, like the amount of kids that are being negatively affected by the diet and the fact that you have all these multi million dollar corporations advertising junk food to kids. It makes you mad and you can rave and rant and every single thing you say would be true. But I didn't want to do that in this film. So what we have done is we created a bonus feature website where we can go into more detail to cover things that we weren't able to cover in the movie. Such as weight loss diet, you know, like how Gingy and Erica and Satya lost the weight, what they were actually eating. Uh, we have a bodybuilding section of how you can eat raw vegan food and build muscle mass, you know, because that, that's important that, you know, if you have a lot of energy and that you don't be weak and anemic, which is how the raw food diet is perceived. But this didn't have enough room to cover all of this in the movie. So a lot of the information on the website is free. All you have to do is just go to thegardendiet.com and log on. And um, we have a forum. And there's literally thousands of people in this forum who are communicating with each other, telling about different health conditions, weight loss, transition, all the different things that you experience on raw food. Um, they're talking about their experiences on raw food, so you can see what other people are experiencing as they make this transition. I probably stepped on a lot of toes. It wasn't my intention to be confrontational, but there are a lot of people trying to sell us a lot of things that we don't need. Supplemental companies. Uh, we don't really need supplements. I, don't, I, don't, I think they might even do more harm than good in a lot of instances and it's a multi-billion dollar industry and um, it's like I think you can get all the nutrients you eat from food so I expect there's a lot of people in the raw food community who sell supplements so I expect to have a host of people attacking me <laughs> on, on that one but I, I, I pretty much stand by it 
you know, I stand by the fact that if you have a, a good, balanced, raw food diet, that all the nutrients you need are contained in the foods in a format that is totally assimilatable by our bodies. And the proof of this is that we've been eating raw, organic food for hundreds of thousands of years and it's only in the last 10,000 years that we discovered fire and started cooking our food and only in the last hundred years that our diets you know like um, became so bad that we needed to eat supplements to begin with so I, I stand by that and I didn't mean to step on anybody's toes as far as you know like creating a lot of controversy and conflict because I've met so many wonderful people in the raw food movement just bright illuminated souls but all of us have our own way of doing it and very few of us really agree with each other but it's alright because I feel like the one thing that we all agree on is that we shouldn't put our food in the fire 